Grow em Big with Steve Bartilla. Brought to you by Huntworth and these other fine sponsors. One of the big ways we can build a team, quite honestly, to help us so much better meet and exceed, frankly, our goals, or at least come closer to our goals than we otherwise ever would be, is to build that functional team around us. I understand. When it comes to the government, geez, we, we, we don't... We are programmed not to trust game wardens, not to trust the soils, not to trust the forest. My consistent experience is these people are sincerely, sincerely good people that are honestly there trying to help us. I have not had a single bad experience with any one of them. And I've had a whole dang bunch of experiences with all of them. I simply treat them with the respect that I would want to be treated with myself. It's really that darn easy. I be honest with them. I tell them what I want to do before I do it, not after. And my heavens, person after person after person that are in charge of overseeing these, pro these specific programs that I am asking them to bend the rules on, I am almost never told no. And at worst case, they work with me coming up with creative ways that I can come closer to meet my goals than I otherwise would have been able to. The first step in building a good team is simply to open ourselves up to. These people around us aren't, aren't, aren't all jerks. Of course, when we find somebody who is, we don't want to work with them anymore. But do not, do not be afraid to stop in or pick up the phone and call your local USDA, those people are here to help. And there are so many darn government programs out there that are specifically catered to paying us money or massively slashing our costs in specifically improving the soils on our properties. And here's the dirty secret, people. No plant is going to be able to produce better than our soils allow. You want the most nutritious plantings you can possibly imagine for your wildlife. You have to have the you have to have robust, healthy soils in order to achieve that. Your USDA <coughs> officers they can be a huge help. There are contracts out there specifically that will help enhance our cover on our properties. There are other contracts out there that will help us increase the food. They will actually pay us to plant things that will feed our wildlife. The whole point is, is do not be afraid to reach out to these various people, explain to them what your goals are, what it is you want to achieve. And they so often go above and beyond, it's not even funny. And I know it's not specifically soils, but a whole bunch of states have all sorts of programs too. The one that I'm going to mention right now is burning. Iowa, for example, has a heck of a program for reimbursing annual fires you know, where they will actually the state will pay you money to con either do it yourself or contract somebody else to and by by running a fire through you are again improving as long as you do it correctly improving the soils none of us can be an expert on all these types of things none of us but what we can do is we can create teams, teams of experts that are actually there to help us. And for as much, as much negativity as our government gets, very much of it well-deserved, these people and programs are there to help us. All we have to do 
generally speaking, explain what our goals are, treat them with respect, and my heavens, consistently these people have literally done backflips for me, and I, I and the properties I manage are so ridiculously much better off because of it, it's not even funny. Final Thoughts, brought to you by Huntworth. We all, most of us, work very hard to get that hunting property that we can manage. And we protect it so, so, so well. Don't be afraid to build a team, particularly when it comes to the soils people from your local USDA office, when it comes to looking into these, these programs that your state offers for burning, all this type of stuff. They are there to help us. I'm sure there's an exception out there somewhere, but I have yet to run into a single person in these situations that if I treat them with respect, explain what my goals are, that they don't do backflips to try to help me achieve them.